God says, I understand that your experiences have led you to lose most of your faith. But that little ounce of faith that you still have is able to move the mountains in your life. You will witness my power transform your difficulties into a miracle. I love you. Dear God, thank you for granting me another day to live out your will. I lift up this prayer to you as I start my morning with your grace. You know everything about me and I trust you. Please guide me to do what you ask me to do. Lord, I pray that my family remembers to start their morning with you as well. Please grant them the courage to face whatever trial they may encounter today. In Jesus' name, respond with, Amen, if God is with you. Heavenly Father, thank you for life, for my loved ones, friends, and love. Lord, I ask for renewed spirit as I enter into this time of rest and reflection. Fill me with peace and joy, help me to release any burdens of worries that may weigh heavy on my heart, knowing that you are in control of all things. Guide my decisions, O Lord, as I face choices and challenges. Grant me wisdom and discernment to make choices that align with your will. You're all that I have, you're all that I need. Have mercy on me. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray, Amen. Gracious Father, fill my heart with joy and my life with laughter. In moments of happiness and in times of trial, remind me of the joy that comes from knowing you. Let my spirit be light and my laughter be contagious. As I walk through the days you have ordained for me, guide me to see your goodness in every situation, teaching me that true joy is found not in my circumstances but in your unchanging love and faithfulness. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this new day you have given us. Please help us today to focus more on you and what is right and good instead of on all that is wrong and upsetting. Please help us change what we can and leave everything else in your hands. Help us remember that any burdens we face are meant to rest on your shoulders, not our own. What is too much for us to bear is not too much for you. We are grateful for your grace, strength, and help that will see us through all we face. Thank you for being our waymaker and burden bearer. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God, my heart is heavy and my mind is racing. With everything I have going on right now, I just want your peace, your comfort, your rest. If I am being honest, it can be so hard to find you in this mess, but I believe and know you are in it all. I trust you in this. Please God, I pray for your eyes to see the goodness in this hardship your glory in these circumstances. Make my mess, your message. In Jesus' name. Amen. You never know what God is protecting you from. Sometimes we don't understand why people get up and leave. Why do people suddenly stop talking to you? Why certain things don't work out? And we sit and ponder all day and week about it. Even in our sleep, trying to figure out something that's not for us to understand, but God. All that God wants you to know is His protecting you. Forget the details and just praise Him for His endless protection. God is saying to you today, a new door is about to open for you. 
The challenges you are currently facing are about to come to an end. You are about to get a sudden rush of opportunities and blessings that will clear their way for you. Be patient. Trust my timing. It's about to happen. Comment, Amen, if you believe. The chapter is turning. A brand new season is loading as the Lord is resurrecting dead things. I've had several dreams of the Lord instructing me to prophesy life into dead things. What seemed dead must live. What the enemy killed must resurrect. It's not over until God says it's over. The chapter is turning. The wind of God is bringing life into the dry bones and dead things. This is a powerful season of resurrection, new life, and victory. But the Lord is the true God, He is the living God, the eternal King. When He is angry, the earth trembles, the nations cannot endure His wrath. Tell them this, these gods, who did not make the heavens and the earth, will perish from the earth and from under the heavens. Jeremiah 10 verses 10 to 11. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Matthew 6 verse 2. Sometimes the Lord takes away heaven to teach us to surrender. Sometimes he allows heartbreak so that he can heal us. Sometimes he doesn't give the answer right away so that we learn to trust him. Sometimes he reminds us how weak we are so that we remember how strong he is. There is a loving purpose in everything he does. Amen, if you agree. Will lard you, he is by your side to protect you. The sun will not hurt you during the day, nor the moon during the night. The Lord will protect you from all danger, he will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and go now and forever. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men, you will only find yourselves fighting against God. Acts 5 verse 39. Forgive me Jesus for my sin. Forgive me for willingly choosing to walk away from you, my only hope and source of salvation. Lead me in your ways today God and help me to be the lamp that gives light to the whole house. Lord, help me be the town on a hill that all can see, that they may see my deeds and glorify you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Micah 6 verse 8 He has told you, O man, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? Unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O oh Lord, supported me. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer, Psalms 94 verses 17 to 19. Somebody needs to hear this right now. While you are doubting or thinking you still need more time, God is anointing you with fresh oil and breathing fresh strength over you. God is assigning new angels and releasing many resources to you. Because you are more relevant and ready than you know. And because somebody is waiting for you to show up. In the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, this is your season to be great. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. 
Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Amen. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12 verse 2 The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, Tilder Isaiah 61 colon 1. Bible verse, You, Lord, you alone are Lord, you made the heavens and the star of the sky. You made land and sea and everything in them, you gave F.E. to all. The heavenly powers bow down and worship you. Nehemiah 9 verse 6 The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 20 verse 28 Behold, I am doing a new thing, now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43 verse 19 God's timing is the best timing. You are not left behind, left out or less than. Focus on enjoying God, your people, and this season as you trust Him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in Him. Psalm 34 verse 8